Okay, you're using Google Sheets and you find yourself wanting to count a list of data based on certain conditions. But in this case, we want those conditions to be kind of an either or instead of an and. If you want to follow along with what we're doing, there's a link to this template in the description of the video. All right, and let's start out with the first of three methods that we're going to go over. Each technique works a little bit differently. They're built completely differently and we'll just choose the one that makes most sense for how your spreadsheet data is arranged. And we'll go through all three of them. The first one that we're going to do is just a string of count ifs. So I say that uh, that's count ifs plural. That's not the function that ends with an S. So there is a count ifs. So we'll say the range for count if is A2 through A7. And we've already indicated it with these green check marks. And we want to count the bread, the apples, and the milk. But if you're using count if, you want to count if it's bread. And then you have to redo the function. So let's actually just select it with our mouse, do control C to copy, and hit the end key, and control V is in Victor to paste, and do that again. But the second time, instead of bread, we're going to say apples, and then milk. All right, and if you hit enter, you get a three. And we know that's right because there's one, two, three of these values. All right, and this technique works fine. It's pretty easy to follow. Uh, one of the issues that comes up with it is if you have a longer list, it can just get uh, to be a long formula and hard to maintain. So on the second one, we're going to create it in a way that you can just put all of the conditions in a string at the end. Uh, but in order to do that, the formula gets a little bit more complicated. So here we go, let's start the second solution. We'll start it out with an array formula. And what array formula does is it just repeats the function that you put inside of it. All right, so we're going to have it repeat the sum with a count if embedded in that for A2 through A7. Let me scroll up here, I lost my header. There we go, A2 through A7. Now I'll have a comma. The second parameter, the COUNTIF function here is going to take an array. So we'll use the curly brackets to put our data inside of. That's how you tell Google Sheets that you're doing an array. And we want the string of bread, string meaning just a string of characters, uh, apples and milk. So you can see if you have a lot of items, all you have to do is, oh, I spelled apples wrong. <laughs> If you have a lot of items, you just have to put them in here separated by commas. So it's going to make a very long formula shorter than it would be if you used a count s, which when you're done with the array, close it off with curly bracket. That tells Google Sheets that you're done. And then we need to close off the count s, close off the sum, and close off the array formula. So if you have very long, this makes it shorter, but it is a little bit harder to follow, right? You can get a three with that. And now we'll talk about our last solution. And the last solution really is, if you become familiar with how to construct it, it's the most graceful solution. Certainly the most flexible if you need to add some other parameters to it or work with additional columns. Uh, but it is possibly a little bit unfamiliar depending on how long you've been using Google Sheets. So what we're going to use is something called the query function. And query brings the SQL language into your spreadsheet. So you can do all sorts of things that you couldn't do with a traditional spreadsheet function. And the first thing that query wants to know is what data it's working with. So we'll tell it A2 to A7. And now we will write the query. So we'll start this with a quote. The entire query always needs to be surrounded by quote. And we're going to do our select clause. You always need to write select. And that's basically uh, telling the query what it needs to output. And we want to output the count of A. Okay, so that's going to be the count of column A from this range. So there's only one column, but we're, we'll say A, where A is equal to bread. So we'll do a single quote here because we're already inside of double quotes. So if you were to do a double quote, it would accidentally end the query. Say bread, and here's the magic. Just use the word or. A equals apples. Or A equals milk. 
All right, so you can see it be a little bit longer because you have to type out A equals every time as opposed to the array formula. But this one is easier to read and you can add different columns to it for the input and the output. So if you want to learn the query function, it, it will be the most future proof if you ever need to modify your formula. Press enter and it outputs a count of three. So it even output that little label there that says count. If you want to learn how to take that off, you watch this next video about the query function where it gives you an overview of everything you can do with it so that you can start introducing it into your spreadsheet formulas. Thanks for watching. It's nice to have you along.